Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Dosh, your host and teacher. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you a common ending break. It's a break, you can use it for beginnings, middles, endings, but it's really common in endings, especially in rumba, wawanko, and very common uh, in recordings by the, the world famous, excellent rumba group, folkloric music group, uh, Los Muñequitos de Mantanzas. I will leave the spelling below in the description, uh, but that's where you can go listen to this break being used in a musical setting. And I'm gonna talk more about that at the end of this lesson. So what I'm gonna show you is how to play this break, the one that I just played. And you can use this on any instrument. It's traditionally, you know, in rumba, wawanko, which is congas, uh, cowbell, clave, singing, chikere, you know, some more folkloric, maybe cajones, uh, rumba cajon. Uh, and uh, from there, you can apply it in lots of different settings. And I'm gonna talk about how you can use this in your own music making uh, with group drumming or you know, make it fun, make it into a game, uh, make it into a challenge. But first, let's just learn this rhythm. I'm gonna play it a couple more times for you and then slow it down. But here's just the break by itself. One, two, three, four. So what the heck is going on? Let's break it down, we'll slow it down. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is slow down to a comfortable tempo. Let's go to 70 BPM. I've got my eighth notes on. One and two and three and four and. By the way, it'll be helpful if you know what rumba clave is and how to play it. Uh, that would be Here's the break again, and go. Two, ready, and hey. Two, three, four. Just doing rhythm right now. Let's say it. Bop 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 That's too much to do at one time if you're not familiar with it. So let me start at the beginning. We're gonna go piece by piece, and then we're gonna put it all together. So the first thing is. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Let's try that. Ba 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 ba. Uh. Ba 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 ba. It might help to count. One, two, three, four. Ba 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 ba. Say it. Ba 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 ba. You can use any sound you want. D d d d and d and d d. I gotta play this here. Ba, 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 ba. Why don't you give that to me? <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I gotta get me some drum. All right, next part. <laughs> Let's get tricky. Let me play the whole thing. So let's go to the end. Let's go to the second bar because the end of the first bar is the tricky part. 
Too bad. I think you can all do that. So there's nothing on the downbeat, and that's where this is a little bit tricky. So now let's look at the transition after the first part of the first bar into the second bar, and that's the tricky part. Before we do that, I want to say thank you to everybody who's supporting the channel through patreon.com slash Kalani. That is how we support this channel. I know there's ads, but that doesn't really amount to a whole lot. Um, that's a little bit extra, but the main thing that we do here is ask you all to chip in a little, like a tip. I mean, the amount we ask for is about a, the tip on a meal for one person per month. So if you go out to eat and you leave a tip one time a month, or you buy a, a cup of coffee at a name brand coffee franchise, um, that's about how much we ask for. So really not too much. You're never gonna miss it. But we do appreciate it because um, rather than publishing DVDs and videos and selling those to you, we're basically putting this stuff out here for free, you know, free to access, free to access, <laughs> and free to donate so that there's a reciprocal relationship. And that's, how we, we trust that that's what people will do. And a lot of people do, and we appreciate that. So if you're not doing that and you get something out of the channel, if you, you know, if you like the channel and you watch the videos and you laugh and you say, hey, that was great, uh, then that's what that a little amount of money is for, uh, for that experience. All right, thanks to everybody who's donating and supporting patreon.com slash Kalani. And we do need to up our patrons because actually Patreon takes a, a cut too. So, um, Thanks for supporting, especially now during the pandemic. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, some of you will be watching this saying, what pandemic? That was 20 years ago. <laughs> but it's happening now. All right. So let's look at that transition spot um, between the first bar and the second bar. I'm going to play the whole thing again because we've kind of broken it apart. I want to glue it back together a little bit. So let's review. Three and four amp. So, ba 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 I can't even clap rumba clave and sing it at the same time. Some of you probably can. Ba 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 All right. So, there's the note right before the downbeat. Ba 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 and then there's a note right after the downbeat. I'm talking about the second bar, downbeat of the second bar. So that downbeat of the second bar is a free zone, right? There's nothing happening there. Right before, you've got the note that's almost landing on it, the anticipatory note, and then you've got the upbeat right after. So that's just something to be aware of. I think it's just a matter of repetition, you know, do it slowly so you can get that part worked out. And then once you get that worked out, the rest is pretty easy, right? So let's speed this up a little. Okay, so we're gonna go to 100 beats a minute. I'll play a little bit of a rhythm, like a wah wah ko, and then I will go into the break as the ending.
okay? So that's how that would work. So it comes on the three side of the rumba clave, and uh, it follows the rumba clave really closely in the first bar, right? And then it doesn't. So what I want you to do at this point is um, go listen to this music, Los Muñequitos de Bantanzas. You can, and you, you know, you're going to hear some great music when you, if you listen to those guys. Also, maybe Los Papines. I don't know how much they use this break. Maybe they did a little bit. But Los Muñequitos definitely uses it a lot to end their rumba pieces. And there's probably some other groups too. Uh, Grupo Folclorico de Nacional de Cuba, probably, also. Um, and then uh, what you can do with it is you can use it as an ending for a drum jam. So if you're playing, whether you're playing traditional music uh, or you're just jamming with your friends in a community setting, if everybody kind of knows this break, well, one person can start playing it and then everybody joins in. Because when you hear that, you know, when you hear that part, then you know that you can join in and everybody will end it. So if we're playing along, uh, you can just hear. And join in. And that in that way, it becomes kind of like a game. So you're listening and you're like, oh, he's playing that ending or she's playing that ending part. I'm going to join in and try to catch the ending. All right. So you can use that there. Uh, you could use it as an intro or a, or a transition you know, once you know it, you use it however you want, you can change it up. Uh, in terms of the tones that you're playing, I don't know that there's any hard and fast rules. It's kind of an ensemble, you know, what we call a 2D or everyone rhythm. But um, I think for the ending, there's usually a little differentiation uh, in the last notes. The first part is going to be pretty much whatever. So maybe the very end, ba, boom, boom, beep you know, high, low, low, high. But in the first part, it's, I think it's just whatever the tone of your drum is, just like open tones or whatever. But you can go listen to the music and educate yourself and decide what you think, uh, if there's any contour to the pitches, if people are playing different tones, like muted tones. You know, however you wanna execute that uh, or treat the tones is kind of up to you um, or you can listen to like I said, professional Roomba ensembles and try to emulate what they're doing or at least learn about what they're doing and then make the musical choice for yourself. All right, that's what I have for you in this lesson. If you haven't already, if you're not aware, I did another video on another break that's common in Latin music, Caribbean music, probably more on the salsa side. This is more Roomba folkloric. Um, the other one's more common to salsa, but uh, you can certainly use both of them in, in similar ways. Use it in a traditional way. Use it for solos yourself. Um, you can use it in small ensembles, maybe even in big group community drum jams. Um, you can use it in a non-drumming ensemble. You know, use it in, in a guitar jam or bluegrass jam. I don't know, just come up with your own way of applying this. Um, but go do your own um, research and homework, which means listen to lots of the traditional music uh, so you get out of the YouTube bubble here. Um, you know, I'm a generalist. I do a lot of things pretty well but uh, certainly there's a lot of people that do a lot of specific things to a much higher degree than I do. Uh, and that's great because my, my job is to be the hub of the wheel. You guys go out and find uh, the people that are doing even more in those areas. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'll see you all in a future lesson and I'll leave the link to the other break video in the description below.